Hello everyone out there in YouTube world. Well, I'm back again, getting a little bit of headway with this Behringer wing and I just wanted to share with everyone my latest adventures and hardships. So uh, bear with me, this video is unrehearsed and also a disclaimer, I am a hobbyist. I am not an expert. That's why I am making these videos to help others that are using the wing strictly for studio use. I am never going to take this out of the house and use it live. This is just for my hobby that I like to amuse myself with. Anyway, what I have done, let me swing over. I have acquired a TC Helicon voice live rack and this is going to really help my singers when they do come in to enhance their performance. And my intention, my goal is to use this as a hardware loop so can uh, change uh, effects and adjust them on the fly without having to re-record. You could see that obviously would be beneficial just like you would use a VST. Okay so let's talk about the connections first. I am using the regular dynamic mic that came as part of the package with the voice life rack and I have plugged that in to my local channel 8. I just wanted to show you what I've got going on here. Okay, I've got the channel selected right here. On the main, it is going to local 8 and I'm using USB 21 for the alternate input. Now that's going to make a bit more sense when I actually do a little recording so you can see my method. And what I have also done, I have made kind of like a voice live rack loop here. I got the main ins as five and six, which is local five and six on the board. That's where my outs are going from the voice live rack into the board. And I'm using alternate 25 and 26 so I can hear. So I hope that makes sense to you. So let's go on to the routing portion of it and how I got with some help from Tim from Music Drive. Tim, thank you so very much. You've been very super kind and with your help and if I can indulge further on it, hopefully I can get this solved. I'll make another video and share with the world the results I have to get this working the way it's supposed to. Anyway, <clears throat> according to Tim, let me show you the routing that I have done. So I am going to my output. I'm going to select my aux outs. And as you can see, there is my aux out one and two. That's where I'm sending the audio from the wing into the voice live rack. And the reason why it's stereo, even though it's just a single channel mono mic, that's the only way I can figure out to get a stereo return and get a stereo signal back into my door. So I've got auxiliaries out one and two feeding into a splitter two into one into my voice life rack into the line in of the voice life rack and that is being reflected on usb 23 and 24 on the usb audio okay we got that part let's go on to the way back in so i'm going to select USB audio here and I've got 23 and 24 going into the local ins 5 and 6 respectively. Okay, that is the biggest success I have gotten so far with getting this to sound. Now, <clears throat> let's have a look at the connections on 
this fader, fader 10, I have got unsigned the dynamic mic plugged into local 8 and going out uh, on the alternate on USB 21 and the voice live loop this is where I needed to keep it stereo because I like to use a stereo process signal on return I have the mains on 5 and 6 and USB 25 26 that may be incorrect but this is how I've uh, jerry rig things if you will to get the desired result anyway let's do a little bit of recording i am going to move the voice live loop fader up and you can probably hear my processing right now let's turn it back off so it's not too off-putting okay again i'm sorry for the glare from the light i want to show you how I've gotten the signal to come in. I have selected on Cakewalk. I am using the left USB driver 21. And on the out, this is where it starts to get a little bit funky here. The out, I'm going to the USB 23. So I'm going to turn my fader up. Let's try and do a recording. Here we go. We just need some audio process. We just need some door control. Okay, let's disarm that and let's do a playback and let's go quickly to the wing. I should have shown you this in the beginning. I've got the input select on main thus far. Okay, let's play this back. And I got a guitar track on track two. And you can see on the main it doesn't play back even though I can switch the input echo on. So let's see what we've got. We just need some audio process. Okay, we're going to mute the guitar track for now and let's go to the alt input on the voice, uh, sorry, on the wing. So I'm switching to alt. I'm going to hit playback and I'm not getting any audio, which is upselling. Let's hit the input echo on let's try and play again it kind of defeats the purpose doesn't it so let's go back to main and i'm going to enable the guitar track with it let's see what we got let's play back we just need some audio process we just need some door control okay with the main Uh, we've got the track printed out fine. <clears throat> and let's go to the alternate input. We're going to hear the guitar this time, but as you can see, there is no um, no voice live uh, processing going on. Okay, sorry for the bad playing. I'm not talented at all, but anyway, you get the gist. So that's where I'm at right now. So there are issues remaining. With Alt selected, I can hear my guitar, but I can't hear my audio. With Main selected, it's vice versa. I don't hear the guitar, but I can hear my audio. It's kind of uh, hard for a singer to sing and not be able to hear the rest of the music play back during recording. So that's where I'm at now and i just want to demonstrate uh one last thing let's mute the the guitar here now if i flick this to the main out so i can hear both at the same time i'm on 
the main input selected under setup. Nothing. If I go to the alternate, let's see what we got. Well, I did hear the audio that time. Let's get the guitar lower so you can hear the audio. Maybe perhaps let's get this boosted up. Let's go ahead and normalize this. That looks good. Okay, we've got a stronger signal now. Now this is alternate again. Now we're going to hear the vocal uh, with the guitar, but the vocal is going to come through dry and unprocessed. Listen to this. We just need some audio process. Okay, kind of defeats a purpose. So, you know, the idea of having the voice life rack, I would love to be able to record and grab the actual vocal process at the same time and then go back into my audio processing and be able to adjust and fine-tune the voice live effects to my liking. Uh, also the other issue I encountered when regardless of what I do on the door whether I'm using uh, the USB out 23 or USB out 1 to the mains uh, when I print the audio to mp3 I'm getting a dry unprocessed vocal no matter what I try. It's very frustrating. Um, Beginning to wonder whether the wing was the right choice for me. Um, it says uh, it's meant to work for studio use. It has door functionality finally added, which I'm grateful for. But uh, I'll be very interested to hear if anyone is struggling uh, with using a hardware device for a loopback. So please write in the comments, uh, especially if you have a solution. I'm sure everyone would appreciate that. And also, if uh, I did made a wrong choice, and maybe I should think about using different equipment altogether. Never ever had this issue when I was using my trusty Focusrite, but unfortunately that's been sold. So, oh well, <laughs> it's either get this right or bite the bullet and start again. But I'd be very interested for all of you out there, if you can chime in. Um, either way, whether you're suffering the same way, I'd be interested to know how many people are likewise suffering or if you indeed have a solution for this. Anyway, that's all for now. Sorry for being so verbal and long-winded. Hopefully I got my point across with the issues I'm having. And please, please, please write in the comments uh, so all of us can help each other out, especially in this day and age. Thank you again and... Have a blessed day.